Let's see what out the day. Go out there, force 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 out there. Wow. I just realized I have dark circles under my eyes every single time we start a vlog. Yay. So Joey just left for his physical therapy appointment today and I'm working on finding a venue for the Midwest Destiny meetup that we're hosting on June 4th. And Peyton here. Can you say hi? She's really busy watching Octonauts right now. So, it's important, you know. And then, let's see, when Joey gets back this afternoon, we've got watching the Bungie reveal stream. It's the last one. Um, talking about weapon stuff and stuff. And then, Joey works. So I'm not sure what Peyton and I are going to be doing yet, but I need to do my costume for Wizard World. Because it's in a few days and I'm running out of time. Yeah. But look, the snow is gone. Wisconsin is very bipolar this time of year. Oh no. Yeah, no more snow. You're on the big chair? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we could do a walk later if it's nice enough. We'll try it. Yeah. Okay, can you pound it? Good job. We're at the park. Yeah. It's funny, he doesn't want to be outside, but we're here anyway. Because Peyton wants to, and she's the boss. Peyton, should we get out? Leave stick right there? Yeah. Okay, you leave the stick right there. Grab this stick like this big on the way into the car. So, you ready? No. Payne, should we stay in the car forever? No. Should we get out and play in the park? No. Do we have to? All right. If a face could be monotone, that's your face right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. It might be a little short. But hold on. Thank you. Catch it. Catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark it down. Mark it down. So get down. <laughs> get down, Park. You get down, Park. No. Yes. Go back to the ice. Can you explain how Peyton's belt? No. Should we show it off? Hey, Peter, can you show me your belt? 
Can I see your belt? So, that belt is actually a, what is it? Well, Peyton's very tall for age and very skinny. So, in order to get pants that are tall enough for her, they're a little loose in the waist. So, they don't really make toddler belts that we can find. So, that's a dog collar. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, though. It does. It's sparkly. and. Do you like your belt? No. <laughs> It's wet. It's too wet. What's too wet? The park is too wet? Yeah. So is this advertising Bife's channel? Yes. <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. What are you doing? You're up there? Yeah. Do you want to come down here? No. Do you have pigtails? No. House. House. Okay, so let's go over there. You want to hold on to this? Hold on to it like that. Good job. Um, hold on. I just like super zoomed in. No. Here, just hold on to the sides. There you go. You don't have to tip it or anything. She keeps zooming in. What? No, don't touch the screen. Just hold the screen. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Too wet? Yeah, it's wet. Too wet? My shoes might get a little wet. It's okay. Yeah. It's mm. like shoes. You should get dry shoes. Might but. just be all of his phone. No! We're coming this way to avoid the water bunny. Wow! Look at the bridge. Look at the hill. Go up the hill. Shit. But what? Help. Let's see what out the day. Go up there. Force out there. Force out there. Force out there. Force out there. There's a lot of her can over the camera. Wow! What if we pull that a little different like that? You can see yourself. Yeah, I, I see you. The boat. I see you. Some of the camera was aimed the wrong way. Boat. Here, 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 let's switch it. No. Watch. You can see everything through it. Mm. Okay, picture. Now we can see your your fingers are over the camera. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that.
was you in the camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> you wet. will drop it. I like this tree. It's kind of cool. Oh, I don't know about that. Here you go. I got one of your sticks to take it. Touched it, that counts. <laughs> she just tried to do what you did with her little stick. Watch her. Wait, can you do that? She wants to climb too. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea on this one. That's a big person out. tree. When you're a little older, okay? Pineapple Junior. Ooh. Is that good? Yeah. So we got some weird food things. We wanted to try them. I wanted us to try them <laughs> if it's best. So we're gonna start with this. This is not what tasty. It's Sesame seaweed snacks. Savory roast of Korean seaweed with sesame oil. That sounds really gross. So, you know what? There's seaweed in your toothpaste. So. I want it to taste my toothpaste. I don't eat it for pleasure. These look gross. They smell gross. Ooh, it smells good. Mm mm. It smells like. Bacon bits, no. but bad. Yeah, show it's really oily. This is how look how gross it looks. They're like really thin. Um, but no, there's a seaweed salad at that Korean place that Papa and I went on our daddy daughter date to. But it's not like dried seaweed. We have to and dink it. it. Like this. Dink it. Hey, you almost cracked me. I'm trying. Oh, the texture gets really weird. By weird, she means nasty. I win this round. Okay. That was gross. I don't mind seaweed normally. That's... It's like seaweed mixed with fish. It turned into a, like, jelly in your mouth. Yeah, it's dehydrated. Maybe if it had something on it. Or you put this, like, in a salad. Maybe it's gonna... gross. Oh, there's like a really strong fishy taste at the end. So these ones are coconut patties, key lime flavored, and I can't do these because I'm allergic to coconut. Meaning she won't steal them all. So he gets coconut things all the time when he wants to. Yep. If I ever want something and I want her to not steal it, I get coconut. You know and they're defeating you. <laughs> that is not the proper way to open them. Do 
me to open it for you? Sure. Right here. I guess I can hold it a sec. That's so nasty. <laughs> Like coconut lime. You should buy it. No. A big bite. And then our next part of our video would be we're at the ER. Actually, never had that happen. My throat just gets kind of, it closes up a little bit. Like, not majorly closes up, but just, like, you know, you get like a really sore throat when you're sick. That's kind of what it does, and that makes my tummy feel all icky. We're going to actually do these next because. I swear I've heard of these on something or somewhere and I don't know where. They're called Hai Chu and it says Sensationally Chewy Fruit Candy. And this was in the Asian foods aisle at the grocery store. I hate packaging. I, I, I'm going to start working for pa package. packaging companies and my goal is going to be to make them as user friendly as possible. Okay, so it's like this little... Like mango? Yeah. Mm. Okay, we're just good. I'm okay with this. Mm. Is it gum? I don't think so. Maybe. It's not like breaking down, it's just kind of... No, I swallowed it. Got a really creepy it's baby on it. The tan rice candy with the tangy little baby. And a car. And a flower. And a flower. And an elephant and a cat. And I don't know. We're going to see. Where's the kitty? How's that rice? It must be. The little, like. Rice protein. Normal candy square. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> okay, the wrapping does not want to come off of these. It's like six layers of wrapping to these. <laughs> oh, mine's just breaking apart and stuck to my candy. Yeah, mine's doing it too. <laughs> don't seem to wonder about the quality of these things. Maybe you're supposed to eat the wrapping. Maybe that's the rice part. No, it's that's no actually. It's so thin. No, it is. Yeah, it breaks down. Oh, you're supposed to eat the. Yeah, I'm gonna eat the wrapping. Yep. Oh, it's gummy? I'm sure you're sucking on it, not it's thinking it's gummy. It's a really mild good. grapefruit taste. Oh, yeah. I like it. They're really chewy. It's not bad. Oh my gosh, you get like. <gasps> it's like a Kinder egg. You get a sticker of a lion playing a saxophone. Why does the lion have snake bangs? Because it wants to eat you. All around the mulberry bush. It might actually be a racist song. No. According to Rhett and Link, it's to when women were in prison and their children went with them to prison it was to get the children to exercise by running around the mulberry bush. Hmm, what about the monkey and the weasel? I don't know. Anyway, it's probably white mulberries. It's a strange smell. It's like raisins like with something unpleasant. And they look like a whole bunch of maggots. Dried maggots. It just looks like a berry that got dried. It's a raspberry. Here. You get two small ones. It's just like a freeze dried berry. It looks like. Tastes like a raisin. Like the yellow raisins. Yeah. The last one's my favorite. It's called Fat Cat Purry Purry Sauce. It's perfectly good. I love the cat. He's so snazzy. He looks like he should be playing like a bass. You should read the random little description. Our version of the classic South African condiment, Perry Perry. It's a Great classic. with grilled meat, chicken, and shrimp as a sandwich spread and also on wings. This magical mix. Magical. 
uh, features onions, garlic, ginger, tomatoes, and peri peri peppers, small red chilies that pack some powerful back heat. What exactly is back heat? When you eat something hot and it burns at the back of your throat. Mm. We've kept it thick too, so you can also enjoy it as a dip, but we're going to try it straight up because we don't have any. Can I actually take a cut. swig? Uh, I take a swig. Do it. Do you want to take it? Joey, you want me to barf everywhere? Take a swig. Uh, I think it's too thick for us. Oh my gosh, it's really thick. You should probably shake it. (laughs) It's like. (laughs) How do you get it out of the dang bottle? (laughs) It doesn't really want to shake very much. Ooh, it's a big amount. You did not get very much. I dumped it on my hand. I have some. Okay. Okay, ready? Ding. Classy. Ooh. That would be good in stir fry or something. I want it on tofu. I told you this would be mm. good on tofu. And it's not a bad kind of back heat. It's more it's like good. you get like it creeps up on you a little bit at the end. It's almost like an Indian flavor. Hmm. Curry, curry sauce. We got all like this one was from um, TJ Maxx. I didn't even know they had food stuff. But it's weird. Yeah. It's a clothing store. An everything store. But yeah, so that was our weird stuff this time. If you have any weird things that like you know of that we could either find locally or that... Oh, it's more the wrapping. I'm going with the only one. Um, or if you locally, like where you live, have something weird that we might not be able to get a hold so of. eat all that. Yeah. Um... Let us know. We would love it if you want to send us something or whatever. Our PO box is always in the description. And we will try it. I still haven't tried um, Vegemite. That one I think we can get at Woodman. Look, if you have drugs that we can't get here, we will try them on camera. You made a very open ended statement. They can send us anything. As long as they do it in their, wherever they live. I guess. If somebody has Kinder Eggs and wants to send them to us and like wants to deal with them potentially getting confiscated, please, please try. I really want to try. Yeah. I looked it all up. Like, if you try to order them off of a website or whatever and get them sent to the United States because they're not legal here, like with the chocolate still on them, what they'll Why do sometimes legal? if they know that there's Kinder Eggs there, what they'll do is they'll open them, take the chocolate off, and put the thing back in and send it on its way. Why is it against the law? Because it's chocolate around plastic, and they, I don't know, something about the, maybe they don't use BPA free, but I don't know. Okay. All I know is it's not legal, technically. Okay. But you can try to smuggle them in. But it's not like it's illegal to send them or ship them, they just may not allow them to continue on if they know. So if you do it, send them in small amounts, and send them in a box that doesn't say Kinder Eggs. But I didn't tell you to do that. So anything cool happened while I was at work? I went to TJ Maxx and we had to go back to the park to get her ball. Mm-hmm. And she ate a lot of bean dip. All right. And then I watched, oh, I edited our video and I watched some YouTube. I was supposed to work on my costume. I was work. Cool. Oh, that was good. I helped some people. I put some stuff away. I swept up some stuff. I wiped off some stuff. I had to cover a whole bunch of freaking plants with frost sheets because you put all the plants outside even though it freezes every night. So that makes sense. Um, I got in a fight with an idiot I work with about the difference between a flex plate and a flywheel. Because, you know, who cares? But he was very adamant about what they were. People wanted and he was to wrong. know if the toilet lady came back. I actually had somebody tweet at me today saying, "Are you putting out your video soon? Because I want to know. I need to know if the toilet lady came." Because did you know what I labeled the video? I thing? saw the return of the toilet lady. <laughs> it's gonna be a series. I don't believe she came back. If she did, it probably would have been yesterday when I didn't work. Unfortunately, yeah, I was really upset not to have to deal with her for a third day. But. So far as I know. You have her phone number, though. It's true, I do. If we get really big on YouTube, someday we're going to call her, and we're going to have put her on speakerphone and have a conversation with her about her toilet. About her bathroom. She would talk about it. She would. No, as far oh my as... gosh, we could be Skype her. Maybe. <laughs> as 
as far as I know, though, she's using the bathroom in her own bathroom. So. We should put up the picture she sent me in the description if I saved it. This would be like a perfect picture. Be like this part. Is the part that doesn't match this part. <laughs> Why is it on my face? I couldn't pull off earrings, but I keep thinking I got such big earlobes. He's got Buddha ears. I could, I could, I got a lot of I'm real estate. I keep telling you, he should totally gauge them. I wouldn't like it. That big. But yeah, you could, you could, I guarantee people who do gauging are jealous of your earlobes. <laughs> you should tell them about your tape. My tape? On the back of your neck. Oh, yeah. I did physical therapy for car crash and I have magic tape that... Magic tape. Apparently oh. it lifts the skin and allows blood flow to the muscles or something and pulls back, but I don't feel that at I all. don't mean this in a bad way towards your physical therapist, but people make fun of chiropractors and say that they sound sketchy. Magical tape. Fixing your neck injury internally from the outside. Well, they also like ultrasounded the crap out of the back of my neck for like half an hour today. Do you have a baby in there? Uh, or an alien? It didn't. It didn't even give pictures. It just shoots sound waves in there. Oh. Yeah. They didn't let you see your neck, baby. It's a different machine. Sorry. No neck babies. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but. I think that's about it. We're gonna. I'm probably gonna go work someone on my costume for a teeny bit. And we'll do art. Yeah, he's gonna do art. We're probably gonna watch House of Cards. Because all oh, my bejeebas were hooked. Mm hmm. Everyone told me it was really dirty and not to watch it. Even it the, really isn't that bad. Even the parent guide on IMDb made it sound way yeah. worse than it is. Mm. Anyway, if you haven't tried it, if you don't mind. A little bit of sex and some nudity and language. It's really well done. Stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like six years ago, you would have been actually sort of serious about that. Oh my gosh, we should do a Mormon episode. What, like where I explain about your it magical means underwear? I don't have any magical underwear. But your parents do. They do. They definitely do. And for all I know, they watch this, so I apologize for offending you right now. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's our cue to go. Bye, guys. Bye. Eat curry curry sauce. It's good mm -hmm. for you. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, wait, I can't do that. It's copyrighted. It is. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. That's copyrighted, too. <laughs> Is this Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Star Wars, kitty. Now that I've officially embarrassed myself. Bye! <laughs>